All right, well, I think we can probably get started. So hello, everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning to you, wherever you may be in the world. My name is Karina Salisbury. Uh, I am the Director of Channel Partnerships here at Book for Time. Uh, today, I wanted to thank you for uh, joining the Book for Time Partner Integration Series, where we can learn from uh, some of our amazing partners who we have. We'll learn about who they are, how their software connects to Book for Time to help optimize your spa and hotel operations. Today, we're highlighting uh, the seamless integration with Yellow Dog inventory software. And we have Billy Sefcik from Yellow Dog, who will take you through the key features and uh, you know, discuss how we can drastically improve the bottom line. With that, I'm gonna hand it over to Billy, who can take you through the agenda for today and dive into the presentation. Billy, over to you. Awesome, thank you, Karina. Um, and thank you, Book for Time team, for hosting this webinar and allowing us to present um, the Yellow Dog Inventory Solution um, in conjunction with Book for Time as your point of sale. Um, so we're gonna go over you know, managing spa retail inventory and really just you know, some inventory pain points in general and then how the Yellow Dog back office solution in conjunction um, with Book for Time can help you better you know, understand and manage your inventory. Uh, so some of the topics that we're gonna go over is first, um, how does Yellow Dog currently help Book for Time clients um, as a back office system? Uh, we'll briefly touch on the Yellow Dog system components, kind of what's included. Um, I'll talk about and highlight the Book for Time two-way POS integration. Um, we'll briefly talk about some additional add-on and optional integrations where we can interface to an e-commerce platform um, and or your accounting system. Um, we have some mobile apps that we'll step through. Um, we'll talk about barcode label, um, barcode labels and item lists. Um, the purchasing workflow that we have to offer, um, retail kits for creating those gift baskets or bundles, um, and then we'll also touch on the reporting that's available in the system. Um, and we should have some time at the end to open it up to the floor. Um, any questions that you guys have, we want to make sure that we answer today, and we'll also um, sprinkle in a few more poll questions throughout the presentation just to break things up for you guys. So first thing, how does Yellow Dog help book for time clients? Um, so what we do is we provide enhanced inventory features um, when it comes to managing spa retail inventory, as well as any additional retail inventory outlets that your property may have. Um, so item management, vendor management, the complete purchasing module, um, all of our customers are using um, Yellow Dog hardware and our software to print um, their labels for their products. Uh, we have two mobile applications that are going to help you take faster and more accurate physical inventories, um, as well as we have a mobile app to give you some back office functionality, and I'll go through that in more detail in a few slides. And then we also have enhanced reporting. So, you know, Book for Time obviously has great reports. Um, however, Yellow Dog is only an inventory system. We only focus on inventory and delivering inventory as well as retail sales reports to our clients. Um, so I would say about 90, 95% of our clients are solely using Yellow Dog reporting when it comes to viewing inventory and retail sales reports. Um, some of the item management properties that are a little more enhanced than in your point of sale um, is we have some additional um, fields where we can track, you know, the buying season, um, if it's a logoed item, the logo placement, um, basically unlimited fields where we can attach these attributes to your inventory items to allow for more robust reporting functionality. We can also handle, you know, single SKU creation. Um, we have a matrix editor for if you're selling any apparel. Um, you can create a matrix item, um, simply key in the size and color combinations that you're selling that apparel item, and we automatically generate those individual SKUs for you. So we can report on you know, how a particular size and color is selling, but we can also report on the matrix item as a whole. Um, some of the 
client scenarios where there's a yellow dog and book for time client is one when there is a, a spa gift shop and they have an e-commerce need. Um, so this is something, especially with the pandemic, where we had a lot of clients, they were sitting on a lot of inventory and they didn't know, you know, when are we going to open? How are we going to sell it? And they never wanted to be in that situation again. Um, so I'll talk about in a few more slides um, what we do with e-commerce. We currently integrate to all of the leading systems. We're constantly adding new e-commerce interfaces. Um, but what this does is it allows you to manage you know, what you're selling brick and mortar, uh, but it also allows you to manage your online orders. Um, so we have a single inventory system, a single inventory system, and we can connect Yellow Dog to not only book for time, but also an e-commerce platform like Shopify, Magento, or WooCommerce. And I'll go into um, more detail once we get to the e-commerce slide. Um, the other scenario is when you're trying to manage your spa gift shops across multiple properties. Um, so we have several mutual clients where they have 10, 15, 20 properties, and each one has a spa or in some cases, even a couple spas. Um, so they needed an enterprise solution where they can log into one system and they can see you know, all of the on hands across all of their properties. We can look at enterprise sales reports. Um, so really just giving you that enterprise control while we can also you know, still have the flexibility to manage inventory at the property level. Um, and then the third scenario is properties that have additional retail outlets. So some of our clients, you know, they're managing um, spa retail inventory with Book for Time and Yellow Dog. You know, you may also have a boutique clothing store or a general resort or a hotel gift shop. Um, with the enhanced inventory functionality where Yellow Dog is handling all of the back office workflows, you can actually extend Book for Time into additional retail outlets. And that's something that we've done with several of our mutual clients. Um, talking about what is included with the Yellow Dog system. So it is cloud-based, um, which is great news for your IT teams. Um, the workload for them is extremely minimal. You don't need any on-premise servers. Um, you really just need a Windows or Mac machine so that we can install the client application. Um, we can also give any of your employees um, access to the software via browser. Um, and then in addition to the client application, we do have a suite of mobile apps. Um, so I have two slides for this as well, where we're going to go over Count XL, which is designed for taking retail physicals, utilizing barcode scanning. Um, and then YD Mobile um, is a standalone app, and this is just going to give you some back office functionality. Um, Count Excel, you will download from the Google Play Store. Um, you would need to purchase this device. It's an Android device made by Unitech. Um, so once you have that, you can download Count Excel from Google Play um, and take your physical inventories. YD Mobile, you can download from the Apple Store or Google Play. So you don't need to use this specific device. Um, you can bring your own device to the table. You can use you know, an iPhone, um, an iPad, an Android tablet. Um, so any iOS or Android device is going to work with YD Mobile. Um, so talking about the point of sale integration to Book for Time, um, it's a two-way interface. So what's important here is that Yellow Dog becomes the system of truth when it comes to your menu item management. Um, so if we were to you know, purchase a new item, let's say a lavender essential oil, um, we will actually create that item in Yellow Dog. We'll enter in a description. We'll decide, you know, what department and category does this belong to. Um, Yellow Dog will automatically generate a Yellow Dog SKU number. Um, and then we'll also capture the vendor, the vendor price, and what's the current retail price. From there, we have interface settings um, configured that our implementation team will set up for you that's going to say, okay, new lavender essential oil, this is how you're going to be pushed into book for time. So we're controlling the point of sale description, the SKU, and the retail price. Um, on the other side of that, book for time is going to be sending us all of your sales transactions. Um, and I believe this integration, it's at the top of every hour. 
Um, so at the top of every hour, Book for Time will send us your sales transactions, and that's going to update your on-hand inventory quantities. Um, all right, so for e-commerce, yeah, go ahead and do the poll question first. And while you guys respond, I'll kind of just talk through um, the e-commerce integration. So it's very similar to any of our point of sale integrations. Um, a two-way integration is ideal. Um, however, it's going to depend on a few factors. Um, for example, if you currently are managing an online store through, let's say, Shopify, or you have a WooCommerce site, if all of those items are built out, including descriptions, pictures, and you have a solid process for creating new items on the e-commerce side, we would only set up a one-way interface um, just to pull in the sales and update on-hand inventories. Um, if you do want to manage all of the um, menu item creation, okay, about 50-50, nice. Um, from Yellow Dog, it has to be a brand new e-commerce instance. And the reason is, is it's hard to, it's very difficult. We've tried it in the past to configure existing e-commerce sites to a new yellow dog. It's nearly impossible. Um, however, if you do require, or you want to control everything from yellow dog, including your web descriptions, the retail pricing, um, and the pictures from the back office of yellow dog, we can also do that. Um, so if we do a brand new clean push into Shopify or into WooCommerce, you are setting up all of the item properties in Yellow Dog, including the pictures. And then all you have to do is check a box. And the next time that we sync with the e-commerce platform, you just say, do I want this to push to Shopify? Yes or no. Um, we can also, if you have multiple outlets, you know, maybe you're managing the spa gift shop, um, a regular gift shop, a boutique store, and you want to sell products from all of those stores on a platform like Shopify, we have a solution for that as well. Um, and then the other optional integration is we can also um, send exports to your accounting system. And we can do this at two levels. So we can either just do an invoice export and send that file at the end of every day um, to make the AP entries into your financial system. Um, or if you want a more robust integration, we can also post things like journal entries. Um, so it really just depends on what you want Yellow Dog to communicate to your accounting system. Um, we've worked with all of these systems on the screen here, but really we can work with any accounting software that has a defined import ability. We just need to see you know, what file format do they need and we can customize the file export. Um, so we can post you know, your manual adjustments to inventory, daily costs of goods sold, physical inventory adjustments, um, transfers summarized by GL. Um, so the point of this is we have all the data in the system. You know, of course, your accounting team can take that data. They can continue to manually key it into your accounting system. Um, but with our accounting integrations, we're just saving you time and eliminating a lot of that manual data entry. All right, physical inventories. I think we had another poll question here. How often do you take physical inventory counts? Um, so the good news with Yellow Dog and really retail in general um, is you can count as often as you would like. So we have some clients that all they do is an annual physical inventory and that's fine. As long as we're keeping up with our purchasing and receiving and logging any adjustments for damaged products, you really only need to count on an annual basis to true up your on-hand inventory counts. Um, if you do need to, or your property requires you to count more frequently, like it looks like everyone's counting on a monthly basis or other, I'm assuming would be cycle counts, then you can absolutely do that. Um, count Excel basically allows you to log into the mobile app. You download the most recent item catalog with all of your SKU numbers. Um, and then you can go into offline mode. So need to be connected to internet so that we can download the item catalog. From there, if you lose internet connection, if you have you know, a storage outlet that's on the other side of the property, property, you don't have good internet, you're not gonna lose your inventory session. So all you do with Count Excel, you scan a barcode, you enter in the quantities, 
once you have entered in all of your counts, all you're gonna do is press the cloud button in the top right corner, and that is gonna upload it um, into the client software. Um, from there, we have a physical inventory module where you'll create a new physical and you're gonna import those counts. And then Yellow Dog is gonna tell you, you know, what are our quantity variances, any cost variances, um, you can go back and make any updates as needed before you commit that monthly or annual physical inventory. Um, and then the other mobile app, as I mentioned, YD Mobile. Um, so this is just going to give you some back office functionality. Um, again, you can download this from the Apple Store or Google Play. So bring your own device to the table when using YD Mobile. Um, and some of the back office features that you're going to get is the item lookup. Um, so I can search and pull up an item, I can scan a barcode, and it's going to pull up all of the details. So I can see, you know, what do I currently have on hand? What are my reorder points and par levels set to? Um, do I have any open orders for this product? I can see when it was last received, what the current retail value is, as well as what the current calculated cost of the item is. So just a quick, you know, search, scan a barcode, we can see the details of the product. Um, you can also do markdowns. So if you did want to change the retail price of an item on the fly, um, you don't always have to go back to your back office computer. You can log in from your cell phone and you can quickly update the retail price of an item. And then the next time we sync with Book for Time, we're going to push that price update into Book for Time. Um, if you are managing multiple outlets, we can um, handle your transfers in and out between those outlets. Um, you can also do manual adjustments to inventory. So if you're walking through the store, you know, you realize something was open or there's a damaged product and you need to adjust it out of inventory. Again, you don't have to go to the back office computer. You can pull it up on your phone or a tablet and you can log those manual adjustments. Um, and then we're going to summarize all of the adjustments that are made in the system in our reporting module. So we're going to tell you the date and the time the adjustment was made. Um, the employee that was logged in, and then the reference code to why are we adjusting this out of our inventory. Um, you can also place request. Um, a request is just um, a request for inventory for a specific outlet. So you can go through your store um, and you can scan products maybe that you're running low on. Um, and from there, we can import that request into the purchase order module in the system to help with your reordering. Um, and then you can also add pictures to items. We can attach UPC codes to items. Um, and then we also have a new feature called PO Arrival. Um, the purpose of this is really just to, when an order comes in, if the person that ordered it is a different individual from the employee that's receiving it, um, we can find that PO on our mobile device. We can mark it as arrived. And that way the buyer is going to get a notification saying, hey, this PO has arrived on property. Um, we need to make sure that it's properly received into the system. Um, barcode functionality. So do you label your products? 99% um, of our clients are using Yellow Dog to label their products. And they're just using this basic desktop label printer. So. It's a zebra printer, it costs like $300 um, and it allows them to print labels up to 2.2 inches wide. Um, so within the system, you can 100% customize your labels as far as the size of the label. You can add um, as many fields as you want. You know, Do you want the description, the SKU number, the retail price? Do you just want the barcode in a price? Um, it's really up to you what fields you want displayed and the order that you want them displayed on your barcodes. Um, and we do have USB as well as wireless options. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can print item lists. Um, and there's several uses of this. It can either be for scan sheets. It can be for creating a catalog, um, account sheet for physical inventories if you're not labeling individual products. Um, a vendor scorecard to see, you know, how things are selling, what you currently have on hand for that vendor, 
um, as well as just printing shelf tags where we have, you know, the description, the barcode, picture, any additional information. Um, and this template is 100% customizable as well as far as what fields you want displayed if you want a picture. All right, and then stepping into our purchasing workflows. Um, so this diagram, it looks a little complicated, but really it's showing that we can support any purchasing workflow that we could potentially come across in the spa retail industry or really the hospitality industry when it comes to retail. Um, so the big thing is the three-way matching. Um, so if you do create purchase orders or you would like to create purchase orders to help, you know, increase the efficiency of your ordering process to your vendors, we can create a purchase order um, and we can build these POs based on a number of different ways. So the system can look at what do we currently have on hand for all of our items for this specific vendor. Um, if you have reorder points set and par level set, we can automatically see what's below the reorder point, what is the quantity that you need to order to build back to that par level. So it really takes the guesswork out of it. You build a PO for a vendor, press a button, and we automatically build that order for you. Um, of course, if it needs to route through an approval workflow, we have different options there. And then once the delivery comes in, we can either go straight to the invoice if we have it, um, but oftentimes in retail, we receive the delivery, but we don't have the invoice yet. So we can't update any vendor price changes uh, we can't calculate any additional expenses and build it into the cost of our inventory. However, we still need to receive the product to update our on hand so that we can start selling it. Um, so we have that three-way match so we can order, receive. When the invoice does come in, we can match that receipt to the invoice and update any vendor price changes. So we have the three-way match. Um, of course, if you do receive anything and it was damaged, um, or if it was the incorrect item, the vendor approves it. Um, we can do return to vendors. Um, request and transfers. So this is really only if you have multiple inventory outlets where, you know, let's say you have a gift shop and then a spa gift shop and they share some of the same products. Um, the gift shop manager could request product from the spa and we could then go into the system and issue and accept the transfer of on-hand inventory. Um, the last workflow, so if you want to start with a request, as I mentioned, you can start with a request from the mobile app. So you can take the device, you can go through and scan all of the products that you want to order, um, and at this point, it's not vendor specific. Same thing with if we go into the back office client and we say, okay, for the spa gift shop, let's create a request based on par levels. So anything that's below reorder point. Um, we're going to build back to par. You can also create a request based on sales transactions over any time period. Uh, so there's multiple ways to build these requests. And essentially what that's doing is saying, these are all the products that we need to order. Um, you know, now we need to convert it to individual purchase orders for each specific vendor. So you may have one request and then that may turn into four or five different purchase orders that are gonna be individually emailed directly to your vendors. And of course, if you're you know, ordering products online, um, you don't have to create a PO, we can go straight to the receipt or straight to the invoice as well. All right, last few slides, um, retail kits. So if you guys are creating you know, gift baskets or bundles, there's two ways that we can manage this. Um, the first one is what we call produced. So you have, you know, let's say four individual SKUs that you want to bundle together into a bundle or a gift basket. Um, if we're using the produce method, we purchase the individual SKUs, we create the retail kit, and then we tell Yellow Dog, okay, we're going to make 10 of these kits. Um, at the time that we produce them, the on hand for this finished retail kit is going to increase to 10 and the individual SKU quantities, whatever they were at, are going to be reduced by 10 for each individual SKU. Um, so that's the produce method. If you want to produce, you know, baskets or bundles ahead of time, the other option is dynamic. So we basically, we set it up the same way. We have the individual SKUs, you create a finished retail kit, 
Um, but instead of actually telling the system, we made 10 of these retail kits, all we're gonna do is link the book for time POS menu item for whatever basket or bundle you're selling um, to the retail kit in Yellow Dog. And we are relying on book for time as you sell them to tell us how many you sold. And at that time, we'll reduce the individual SKUs. So you can either produce ahead of time or just run them on a dynamic basis. <clears throat> and then last thing before we open it up, happy to answer any questions that you guys have, um, is our reporting module. Um, so as I mentioned, you know, 95% of our retail clients are solely using Yellow Dog, one to look at their inventory reports um, and also to look at their retail sales reports. Um, so in our standard reporting module, we have almost about 400 reports, um, all of which you can fully customize. You can group them, sort them, filter them, um, change the order of the columns around. And then once you have, you know, the five, 10, 15 reports that you want to see, you can also save these as a template. Um, and this is something that we're also going to help you with when we implement the software. Um, we'll discuss, you know, what kind of reports do you need? These are the reports that we recommend that our clients look at. Um, so we'll help, we'll say, we'll set those templates up for you. And then you can also schedule them to be delivered to whoever it needs to go to at any frequency. Um, so if you want, you know, let's say a sales report grouped by vendor delivered to you on the first of the month and you want it in an Excel file format. Um, we can quickly set that up so that you don't even have to go in and look at last month's sales. It's gonna automatically be delivered to whoever it needs to go to. Um, same thing with like reorder reports. If you want a weekly reorder report, if you want it summarized by vendor, or if you want individual reports for each vendor to help with reordering, um, we can quickly configure those for you. Um, out of those 400 reports, some of just the top reports um, that we have, so accounting reports, even if we're not gonna set up a direct accounting integration, um, our clients are still using our reporting tools to you know, view all of their invoices summarized by GL, um, look at manual adjustments or cost of goods sold. We have all of that information um, summarized by GL account codes for your accounting teams. Um, and then of course, you know, we're only an inventory system, so we have great inventory reports. Uh, we have on-hand reports, um, great aging reports so that you can see you know, by individual SKU, how long you've had those items on hand, you know, zero to 29 days, um, 30 to 59 days. Have we been holding on to this inventory for over 365 days? Um, so that's gonna help with seeing, you know, what do you have on hand? What do we need to get rid of? Um, and what products should we mark down so that we can, you know, get rid of that product more quickly? Um, physical inventory reports, sales reports, we can look at it by item, by level, which is departments and categories by vendor, you know, top 10 by item, top 25 by item. There's probably about 30 to 40 different ways to look at your sales reports. Um, and then we also have reorder reports. All right, so if you do want more information, um, yellowdogsoftware.com, we do have a um, book for time landing page, yellowdogsoftware.com backslash book for time. Um, this has, really good details on the integration specification. So basically, you know, how do we communicate back and forth? How do we partner? Um, there is a request a demo button where we can take a look at the software, um, address your specific needs and pain points. Um, and if you do have just a few quick questions that do not get answered uh, in the next Q&A session, um, feel free to reach out directly to me. Um, my name is Billy Sepsik. I handle all of the resort and lodging opportunities for Yellow Dog. Uh, so there's my email, my direct office line. You can also feel free to connect on LinkedIn, send me a message. I'm pretty active there and happy to answer any questions that you have. That's great. Thanks so much, Billy. Thanks for your time and offering yeah. out all those best practices uh, for everyone within their spa properties. Um, I don't see any questions um, that have been provided in the Q&A. Um, if anyone has anything, you can add it to the chat or the Q&A box. 
Um, otherwise, uh, you know, don't hesitate to reach out to Billy, to myself, or to your Book for Time rep. Uh, if you need more information, if you need some data sheets, or if you need a personalized demo, we'd, uh, we'd all of us be happy to provide. So um, nothing coming in. Was there anything else that you wanted to um, finish with, Billy? That's it. Now, again, just thank you guys for hosting the webinar. You know, it was a great opportunity for us. And yeah, just excited to, you know, answer any questions if anyone has any.